Hey guys, this is Swerftworm, and today I'm going to show you how to build clocks. This is five different ones. This is just the basics of redstone. So, here we go. The first one here is a minecart clock. It's pretty stable, unless something gets in the path of the tracks. But it'll, you can extend it out as far as you want, and it'll always, always work. And it can have multiple outputs. This one here is a monostable clock. It has adjustable delays, and this is the larger version of it. it has an on-off switch, and I'm going to show you a more compact version of the same thing. And it's right over here. This one you can only have set at three to four ticks in the middle, or else it'll burn out. But this can have two outputs, and if you need to reset it, I'll show it burning out like now. You just cut one of the wires off it, place it back, and it restarts the whole thing. This is a rapid pulse generator. It is pretty stable. You can have it coming out from two directions versus one. I'll show you a better version in a second, but this is another basic clock. This is a random pulse generator. Now, if you have it coming out from one source like here, it's better than the the rapid pulse server there just because of the fact that it pretty much won't burn out. If you put a pulse limiter, it'll make it even more stable. Or you could have four outputs right off the torches to head in random directions. Now, this is a five clock. This used to be one of the only stable circuits in the game or at least one of the ones that people knew about it still works you can stretch it as far as you want it's not really the most compact now but you do have as many sources of output as you really want now I'm going to show you how to build these in just a second but if you understand everything that you've seen in this video you don't have to watch this part coming up it's just for people who need further instruction and better guidance on how to do it. And a pig jacked my cart. <laughs> Alright, now we're starting off with the monostable clock. You place the blocks down on the bottom in a U shape. Sorry about any lag in this. You get that basic design there, and then you add on this little section in the back here. And this section is where you'll be laying down the components of the clock. The other part is an inverter to make it so that the pulse doesn't just burst out of there at any random given speed. It's to help stabilize it. And also to ensure that it won't go out. Now you need to place these repeaters in the right direction or it won't work and you always set them so that the first one is at four ticks and the second one is at a single tick that's five ticks in total on the actual clock on each side you can shorten the side where it first co comes through but for the most part it's not going to make a huge difference you can plant this in the ground I did it above ground to show you just the basics of it Whoop. extra redstone And that's pretty much how to do that. I'm going to build the minecart one next. Just lay it out in any order you want, really. But make sure there's enough time because the delay or the detector rail does have some delay on when it cuts on and off from when it's hit. So if it's shorter, it'll stay on longer and then cut off shortly. Depending on what, you want, what you're working for, that could be helpful. Also, you don't have to worry about it going out. If you put a fence around it or there's no mob spawning, it's always stable. Alright. I'm going to show the 5 clock. Slow moment. Place it here, there. And then you have pretty much two spaces between each block just so you have enough room to to run a wire between each one 
it doesn't really work if you don't have the wire between it. This is probably the most simple one to build and remember aside from the miniature mono stable which is very compact and very easy to remember. Now this is the mono stable one right here I think I actually placed it the wrong way but we'll find out in a second. If it's the wrong way it's what you would call a pulse limiter versus um, a clock but it's a little bit of info you can learn. Yeah, I placed it the wrong way. But yeah, you can run sources of output from either side. I normally just run it off of one. Alright, this is the rapid pulse repeater. Place one redstone each side of it and that's pretty much a very simple thing to build. I don't like this one that much though. It doesn't do as I want and normally things don't react quick enough to the pulses. This is the random pulse generator. I'm going to show it coming off from all sides in this case versus on top like the one I originally made. And that's just to give you a better idea of what it can be used for. As you can see, it's random which torch goes off, and it'll continue to be random no matter what. But as you can see, if you place it on the top, it's always a steady pulse coming out. It's just the amount of delay or the randomness of it if you choose from the bottom. There's no real controlling what happens. And if you like this video, please rate, comment, or subscribe. I will have more of them coming out soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.